Hey YouTube, how's it going? Yak Science here with another OCHEM video. Today we're going to be talking about Friedel Crafts acylation, which is a specific type of electrophilic aromatic substitution reaction. In this reaction, we're going to be acylating or adding an acyl group onto an aromatic compound like benzene. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to add an acyl group onto a benzene ring. The first step, like in the other EAS reactions, uh, will involve making a really strong electrophile. So let's start right there. All right, so here we have our two ingredients for making a strong electrophile. We have aluminum chloride, which will serve as our catalyst, and we have an acetyl chloride molecule right here. So first we should note that aluminum is much less electronegative than the chlorines are. The chlorines are more electronegative, right? That means that the electron density will be drawn toward the chlorine atoms, giving the aluminum a partial positive charge. So what will happen next is the bond between this carbonyl carbon and the chlorine will break and the chlorine will form a new bond with the aluminum. All right, so that'll get us here. All right, so now we have our aluminum with four chlorines attached to it, giving aluminum a negative formal charge. And we've also generated a carbocation, right? Because our acetyl chloride molecule lost the chlorine that formed a carbocation. This is a very strong electrophile and it makes sense why we would use this in our acylation reaction, right? But also note that this carbocation does have a resonance form that I'd like to draw for you. Note that if these electrons, right, in the oxygen to lone pairs go down to form a triple bond with the carbon, you would essentially move that positive formal charge to the oxygen. So let me draw that out real quick. All right, so here's the other resonance form, right? So it is stabilized somewhat by resonance, but nonetheless, it's very reactive, very electrophilic. So now that we've seen how to generate or how to make our strong electrophile, let's see the mechanism for Friedel Crafts acylation using the strong electrophile with benzene. All right, so here I've drawn our two reactants, our strong electrophile that we generated in the previous step. Remember, it, is res it does have a resonance form, uh, and benzene. So the first thing that will happen is the pi bond, one of the pi bonds in benzene, will nucleophilically attack the carbocation. All right, so that'll get us here. So notice here we've added our acyl group onto the ring, but we've also generated a carbocation on the ring because we disturbed its aromaticity. So the next step has to involve restoring that aromaticity by reforming the pi bond, and that'll be done via our base. All right, so our base will actually come in the form of AlCl4, which is the second product that we got when we generated our strong electrophile back in the very first step. So let's draw that out. All right, and also recall that there are some hidden hydrogens that we didn't draw out. I'm gonna draw in this hydrogen on, on the carbon that has the electrophile added to it because that's the really important one. Let's draw that out. So what's gonna happen is you're gonna see an attack from this chlorine grabbing the hydrogen, deprotonating it, and sending the electrons back into that pi bond, reforming the pi bond. Right, deprotonate the hydrogen, send the electrons into a pi bond, I hope that's clear, and our product will look like this. Note that we've added the acyl group onto the benzene, we've restored aromaticity, and we also have regenerated our catalyst, right? We started out with AlCl3, and we end up with AlCl3 because catalysts don't get used up, they get regenerated. And finally, we formed some HCl, right, because of this deprotonation step right here. Okay, so that's how we add an acyl group to a benzene using Friedel Crafts acylation. I hope that helped, and thanks for watching.